Noob Noob, I heard you have a movie for me. No, I have a 10-year plan for you. Wow, 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 wow. 10-year plans are tight. Actually, we don't have a 10-year plan here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, but we, we do have a story about DC announcing a brand new 10-year plan. They're pulling out all the stops. This seems super hard, really an inconvenience. <laughs> super inconvenience. Yeah. Not easy at all. Yep. They're modeling themselves after Marvel. After failing for a, a lot of years. Would you like me to tell you the story of da David Zaslav? Yes. And what his 10-year plan and is. His hatred for Asians like Walter Hamada. I do think that he hates Walter Hamada. Who doesn't? He fucked up a lot of stuff. He really did. Yeah. So here's what's going on. David Zaslav is the new CEO of Warner Brothers. And he, well, Warner Brothers Discovery. And they merged. And he thinks that he has a new plan for everybody to make it super exciting. Barely an inconvenience. So he wants to take advantage of, of what Marvel's doing. And like imbue it into the DCEU. And part of that plan is axing Batgirl, right? He's getting rid of Batgirl. I'm behind that plan. So he dropped a $75 million movie. And then he's talking about dropping Supergirl. Supergirl also is going to get dropped. And I'm going to no, tell no, you some spoilers. Mexican Supergirl. <laughs> I'm going to give you some spoilers. So be prepared for a movie you're never going to see. But I heard this from Doomcock, who's actually a has some really really good sources because Doomcock's been right about about a whole bunch of things sure and he also might take over the world so we wouldn't want to pay some respect to Doomcock right fair enough yeah absolutely so as reported on their Warner Brothers call uh, they lost about 3.25 billion dollars but they have a new 10 year plan focused on just DC and it's very similar to the, to the plan that Alan Horn and Bob Iger from Disney effectively put together with Kevin Feige. So what they're going to do is essentially reboot everything. And one of the reasons why they are killing off the Batgirl movie is because, according to sources, it was there was going to be a Michael Keaton trilogy. So Michael Keaton was going to be introduced in the flash movie and then an no introduced it maybe introduced in in batgirl and then have part of his plot into the flash movie and then conclude it in aquaman or, or something along those lines or conclude it in batgirl i'm not 100 percent sure how it was going to work but from my understanding and from doomcock who was the source of this he says that michael keaton's batman was going to die in batgirl and that's why they killed it because Right now, they're reshooting Aquaman 2 and removing Michael Keaton from it and putting in Ben Affleck's Batman. How, if he was going to die, how is he going to be in Aquaman 2? Everything was there, there's because it's the multiverse and different timelines and all that kind of stuff. Like, they weren't necessarily going to be released in this in like the exact order. And again, I think that's what Zaslav figured out is that these guys have no real idea of what's going on. So, their goal was to replace. They were going to replace the Holy Trilogy, right? Uh, or the Holy Trinity of Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Batman. And they're going to replace them with Batgirl, Superwoman, and Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. Nope. Zaslav wants to eliminate all that, and he's going to reboot the entire thing and come up with a 10-year plan that culminates in a Justice League team-up movie that will end, I guess, somewhere like maybe after four years, maybe after 10 years. I think it's pretty interesting. So what he's saying is they're they're not going to release a film to make a quarter and they're not going to release a film unless the focus is going to be how do we make each of these films in general be as good as possible? So think about uh, Harley Quinn and what, what was that called? The 
Mysterious Mysteries of Harley Quinn or wh what was the name of that movie? What? The Harley Quinn movie. Oh, the bir oh, and Birds the Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous blah blah blahs of Harley Quinn. They had yeah, to rename it like, like three that. different ways. That movie sucked. It, did. it didn't do any I good for anybody. That happened. Yeah, exactly. Everybody forgot that happened. Everybody wants to forget that happened. Obi-Wan Kenobi was in it. That's right, he was. He was. No it lights was terrible. Though. No. He was not swinging any of that. I saw that in theaters. What a waste. It was free. Was it though? Eh. You paid with your soul. I did. So anyway, what they're saying is that th those movies obviously had no, like, there no connection, right? We talked about this. There are four cinematic Batmans right now. Four of them in the DC universe. How does that make any damn sense? There's Batfleck. Mm-hmm. There's Michael Keaton. Old Batman. Old Batman. Old Batman. There is Jokerverse, which has none of the Batman in it, right? And then there's Rob Pattinson's Bat and Pattinson, the Batman. So I mean, how that, do you have... That's getting a sequel. How do you have four... Well, is it though? It is. Are you sure about that? Positive. How positive? 95% positive. Really? After Zaslav just came in and hasn't made a comment on it. And it did not make more than Batman versus Superman. So why would they think it was profitable? Was it though? I mean, it was, but it wasn't like as pro. They expected it to break a billion, and it did not. Right? They expected BVS to break a billion. I don't know if they expected Batman. They definitely break. expected the Batman to break a billion. They're like the Batman. Aquaman broke a billion. Why can't the COVID? The they released that shit during COVID. They did not. Kinda. So they're saying like uh, Aquaman made about 74 million more than the Joker, but the Joker's budget was extremely low. It was like 45 million, right? Yeah. They're still going to make the Joker movie, obviously, because it's like a throwaway and it's like free money. But the 10 year plan is going to change everything. And apparently uh, Michael Keaton, as long he was going to be in a trilogy, but now it's going to be like very short lived and they don't want to replace Batman with Batgirl or Batwoman or you know they don't want to re replace Batman they don't want to replace uh, Superman with Supergirl and according to some sources we don't know if it's true or not this is totally a rumor but they are working on a new contract to bring Henry Cavill back into the fold and reboot Superman the way they want to do it so it won't exactly be Zack Snyder's Superman but it will be Henry Cavill in the role I mean, at least we got one of two good things. I think that that would be amazing. And I think this guy's got it right. You know, they never really had anybody at the helm who was making plans. And no, they Walter, had Zack Snyder. And then they're like, nah, fuck that. Well, he left anyway. He, he wasn't going to stay anyway because because what happened with his daughter. And then Walter Hamada. What the hell was that guy that doing? That dude sucks. Wonder Woman 84. What a garbage pile. So what they're saying is that at the end of Black Adam 2... They're going to reintroduce Superman with... Black Adam 2? Yeah. Not mm -hmm. Black Adam 1. No. Well, that one's already in the can and done. They don't have time to go back and do reshoots. Apparently, Aquaman is going back in to do reshoots to get rid of Keaton and bring in Batfleck, which is shocking. And The Flash, they just don't know what to do with it. There's too much dead money there. There's no way they're going to waste $250 million or $200 million to redo that movie. Yeah, that was expensive. They're not going to do it. And then, you know, you got to think, like... The Joker is free money. So what he's saying is that he expects that the DC universe will fund all the rest of their movies for the next 10 years too. So they want a scripted out plan that will make sense to everybody. And I think that makes a lot. I would love to see, you know, and they want to go back to the traditional, you know, Wonder Woman, but not Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot will be recast. No, she won't. Yeah, no, that's what they're saying. That's what the rumors are saying. Okay. These are all rumors. There will be no Zatanna movie. They might kill the Blue Beetle movie. Like, they're getting rid of all this garbage, like, all the extraneous Unless stuff. Unless they recast Wonder Woman with Anna Darmus, you should probably keep Gal Gadot. I'm, you're telling me they can't find, like, a young actress who's very attractive, who speaks better English than Gal Gadot? Haley Steinfeld? No. She's already in Marvel, shooting bows. Yeah, but she... Dropping knows. bows. She be shooting. She is not good at get at, wonder what get out of here, mildly unattractive woman that she is. Uh -huh. 
And you know what he said? He, he actually, there's one more component to this that I left out, which is the Marvel component. So what he sees is that in seven years, Marvel will have to play their trump card of the X-Men because they have no real plans for the X-Men. They haven't announced anything. They're not in phase six or five. They're not in there. He thinks that in 10 years, they're going to have to bring back a, they're going to have to reboot everything, reboot Iron Man, Captain America, and like to restart the entire universe again. So his goal is to make as much money as possible in these next 10 years as Marvel starts to take a nosedive because Marvel's clearly making mistakes. Miss Marvel is not a hit. Thor Love and Thunder did not make a billion dollars. In fact, it's going to underperform. It might even underperform Ragnarok. Doctor Strange did not break a billion dollars. It made 900 and something, but it did not do what they expected it to do. And clearly there are problems there. Do you really think Echo and Agatha Harkness and all these other things are going to bring subscribers to Disney Plus? Yes, diversity. Absolutely not. And and so clearly with with Marvel killing Phase 4 and ending it with Black Panther 2, they know there's a problem. And maybe they fix it, but Mar- but DC is saying, "No, we're done." No more woke garbage, no more junk, no more trash. We're just going to finish this off and make something good. So, ex- interesting news. I don't know if it's exciting, but... No, uh, I mean, if Henry Cavill's back, I'm excited. And Flashpoint supposedly kills off Henry Cavill's Superman off screen. Never Spoiler. mind, I'm not excited anymore. That's why they're not sure what to do with Flashpoint, but we'll see what happens. Let us know in the comments below. What do you think? Are you excited for this news? Do you think DC has an actual plan? Do you think they could do something good? They were going to make a Green Lantern TV show. I don't see that happening now. Like, I don't know what's going on. But let us know in the comments below. Be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast, which you can catch on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, all those great places and more. It's for free. You can subscribe now. Listen as much as you want. So many episodes. So much joy. You can also catch our live stream 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. And if you don't like and subscribe, Noob Noob will potentially do this. I will make a 20-year plan to infiltrate your household, become the lovable adopted first child, and then, you know, maybe have an Oedipus complex. Maybe take over your mother. Start having sex with her. Oh, my God. And your dad's going to have some issues with that, so then he's going to start hitting me. And you're going to have sex with him, too? Then I'm going to call the cops. He's going to get arrested. Oh, my God. Who's left to pick up the pieces? Daddy this noob guy. noob. Yeah, then me and noob noob and noob noob's mom are going to have a beautiful marriage. And then my sister, who's now my daughter, is not going to be happy with that. She's going to start doing drugs. No. Uh-huh. So then my dad's going to get out of jail. And then he's going to be super pissed. He's going to start having sex with my daughter. My, oh, my, my God. sister. And then they're going to have a kid, which is my aunt, my cousin. I don't know what happens. She might transition to your uncle. But I think we're going to end up on Maury and Jerry Springer. Maury? Maury? Maury. Maury. Yes, with The Rock and his mom and his fat Zimbabwe kids. Obviously. Yep. All of those things will happen and more. But as for us, we're on to the next one. Ah.